Here we go now guys, Talk Norris City here. I didn't think I'd be starting a video down Hemsby with a cup of tea in my hand walking down to the beach, but that exactly is what it has come to. And why are we doing it? Well, breakfast with TNT is back, my friends. We've got lots of Norwich City news to talk about. And the good, our good friends at Hemsby Beach Cafe have offered food, tea, and a lovely outlook of the North Sea to talk about Norwich City too. Let's go get some food and talk Norwich City. Well, we need some food. Let's see what they've got. Hemsby Beach Cafe, I love it. What's cooking up today then? What have we got? Bacon sarnies? Yes. Anything else? Eggs. Breakfast. Wow. This is already a fantastic start. We've got the cup of tea. I'll see you outside. Well, this is all very different, isn't it? We've got a bacon roll, a cup of tea, a selection of newspapers, and the sea in the background. I'm not sure if you can see it, but we are down at Hemsby Beach Cafe. Massive thanks to them, who basically wanted to give us free food, free drink, and, uh, and us filming. So let's have a look at the newspapers first of all. We've got the Times, don't want that. The Mirror, definitely don't want that. The Sun, be burning that later. Rag of a newspaper. Daily Express, don't want that. We've got the evening news though, and we've got the EDP, that's all what we want. On the back of the evening news, Yannick gives, a, gives Boss a timely nudge. Now, Yannick Vilchka, as you know, in my podcasts, I've been bigging him up, and last night, it's the big talking point at the moment, Charlton, we beat them 2-0 in a pre-season friendly. And that man, let me take this rock off to keep the papers down, Yannick Vilchka tore it up. He's played it right wing back in some games, he's played it right wing in some games, and I think he is gonna be a very influential player. Uh, the top line here from Paddy Davitt, Yannick Vilchka launched a charm offence on Norwich City head coach Daniel Farker with an impressive display in last night's latest 2-0 friendly win at Charlton. If we go to the evening new, uh, the EDP, sorry, Farker lays down the law to City. Now this is a very interesting one. Going at half time, you're 1-0 up against a fairly strong league one side in Charlton and Daniel Farker still tears into them because he wasn't playing the style of football that he wanted his players to. Before that, let me get this ketchup on this bacon roll and let me have a bite. Now, put my BBC head on. Other brands are available, but I'll probably stick with Heinz the best. Uh, get some of that on there, give it a little rub. Now, let's see, because the reason I stopped doing breakfast to sit at, uh, with TNC at my house is because, well, there's only so many times a man can get knocked for his buttering skills before you lose a bit of self-esteem. So, Hemsby Beach Cafe, these are seasoned butterers. And that is a very good bacon roll. Very good indeed, actually. We we'll tap into that throughout the video, but <clears throat> definitely come down here if you want a bacon roll or any food in the morning with a bit of a sea breeze. Absolutely lovely. Right, let's go back to Daniel Farker. So yeah, the style of football we play wasn't what he was wanting us to do. We weren't pressing high enough and we weren't using enough energy basically. And that's probably because we've had a very intense pre-season training camp and we haven't seen this, this intensity for, for years, I don't think. You know, training on the morning of a match day, playing against very good opposition. These aren't Italian amateurs anymore. We're going up against German teams, second division teams, League One teams in Charlton and we're still unbeaten in pre-season which is very impressive and it's good to see that Daniel Farker has seen negatives it's not all been positive so we can implement um, changes and we can go into the season as strong as possible um, once again Yannick Vilsch the main man a picture here which is Paddy Davitt's report which is probably similar to the evening news but Obviously, the Charlton game was a success, a 2 0 win. Stephen Naismith on the score sheet as well. Yannick Vilschke and Stephen Naismith being two of the best players in pre season so far. I bet you weren't expecting that at the last stages of last season. Of course, though, Naismith has that two game ban at the start of the season because he was sent off at Leeds on the last game of last season. What else have we got? Well, Cameron Drome has still been linked away with a move. Um, Fulham, the possible club. It was Forrest before that. They were talking about £6 million, and now apparently Jukanovic at Fulham. And wants Cameron Jerome for three million pounds. My opinion, you don't let Cameron Jerome go if, unless it's a silly amount of money. Yes, Jerome is aging, and yes, he isn't the best striker in the world, but a backup striker who will pretty much guarantee you 15 goals in the championship, 
that's going to co cost you a lot of money to replace. If six million comes in, then yeah, consider it. But three, turn it away and laugh at them because Cameron Jerome is still a valuable player to have in this team. And we need replacements as well. I'm sure if we sell him, then Stuart Webber and Daniel Farker will, of course, have replacements in mind. But it does worry me a little bit that we could be going in to the start of the season with just one striker if Jerome leaves. So for me, you keep Jerome at kind of all costs. Louis Ramsey, of course, our young right back. He's really come on in the last couple of years. Uh, he's got a, um, a loan move over to Woken. Here are the holiday makers coming down. Look what a Hemsby Beach Calf has to offer. Uh, Louis Ramsey's got a loan move to Woken, and, and these are the types of loan moves that either make or break a play. We've seen the likes of Jacob and Josh Murphy really propelling their careers through loan moves, and we've seen players have their sort of careers broken where loan moves haven't really worked. I think, unfortunately, Carlton Morris is going to be one of them players. I can't see him breaking into the Norwich team anytime soon. He's gone out to Shrewsbury this year, so hopefully Louis Ramsey's still very young, of course, goes out to Woken, gets that first team football in a very competitive league, and then comes back much stronger. And of course, we need to start you making the most of these academy prospects because our academy costs three million pounds a year to run we haven't really had many players come through yes the murphys um are one of them but that they were coming through before the category one status so hopefully louis ramsey really does come through now we could also be on the verge of making a sign in his name is adam phillips he's coming in from liverpool he was released there 19 year old midfielder must admit haven't watched him haven't watched many of our players who've come in but look if we can attract the likes of players from liverpool very speedy cyclist there. Um, that's only good, I think. And he's had Premier League interest. I think Watford and uh, West Brom were sniffing about him. If we can get the likes of Adam Phillips in, that's only positive. On a free, his wages will be low. Kind of similar to Harrison Reed, I guess, in, in the fact that he's got something to prove. He'd been, well, Harrison Reed hasn't been released by a Premier League club, but Adam Phillips wants to prove to Liverpool that he was maybe good enough and it was the wrong decision to release him. And finally, We've got a match on Saturday. It's the final pre-season game, Brighton at home. Very excited for this one. I think that's going to be the real litmus test to see how we fared this pre-season. Brighton are going to be very tough. Um, they've made some good signings. They're a Premier League team now. Chris Hewton's certainly going to come down to Carrow Road, even with a pre-season friendly, with a bit of fire in his belly. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that one. I'll be there. I'll hopefully be doing some fan cams and stuff. So if you are about, then definitely come and say hello. But I'm looking forward to that. It'll be interesting to see how First of all, we approach a game at home. Second of all, approach a game against tough opposition. Will we still be playing it out from the back or will we have to resort to this long ball sometimes? And uh, I think that's going to be a very good test of what we're all about going, in, going into that first league game against Fulham. So, bacon sarnie, bacon roll, sorry, about to be consumed and that rest of the cup of tea. Comment down to Hemsby Beach Cafe if you're about the, the East Coast area anytime soon. We're going to be doing breakfast with TNCs here for some time to come. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you very soon. Peace out.